Good day and welcome to part two of uh, my uh, the the transposing the events of the Ethiopian Civil War to the uh, the United States. I forgot very one very key element that I forgot to discuss. And again, my apologies, but I, I felt it very, very important that uh, that be discussed. So uh, as I had talked about before, uh, whether it's uh, Donald Trump taking power inside the United States and canceling gubernatorial elections in California, or Joe Biden uh, seizing power, uh, creating the Prosperity Party, and then uh, canceling uh, gubernatorial elections in the state of Texas. But I'm going to take it a little further. Uh, while at the same time, we, we have seen that uh, the, uh, the state National Guard has been dissolved by uh, either Donald Trump or Joe Biden. Again, uh, look at my previous video in regards to that scenario in terms of what occurred. And I had discussed that uh, Mexico uh, was actually a despotic state for the last 30 years. Now, uh, within the scenario of Joe Biden uh, canceling elections, gubernatorial elections in the state of Texas and putting Hunter Biden in charge of the state of Texas, obviously Texas is probably going to rebel and not submit to executive rule of the new prosperity party, which seeks to include both Democrats and Republicans in a unitary one-party system. So then... Joe Biden orders the federal military into the state of Texas. Not only that, but Joe Biden has then invited the Mexican military to invade the state of Texas as well. So again, just transposing events on what occurred inside of the former state of Ethiopia to a scenario inside of the United States. Again, and if we look, if we, swip, if we switch the coin and uh, this becomes a, uh, a Republican issue, same thing. Trump is in charge, canceled elections inside of California, no gubernatorial elections. Those are canceled. The, the, the uh, California National Guard is henceforth dissolved. Donald Trump Jr. is now in power of California, is in charge of California, and federal forces have been move, moved in as a police action. While at the same time, forces of the despotic regime of Mexico has also been invited in to take control of California and assist federal forces in the quelling of dissent inside of California. So again, I know this is a little dramatic, in terms of, uh, of, of that sort of issue happening here in the United States. But roughly speaking, that is what occurred inside of the former state of Ethiopia. And my Google Earth is on the fritz. So uh, that ends that. I hope that gives you a better understanding, especially if you're in the United States and, uh, have, and are having a, a difficult time in understanding what occurred or what is occurring uh, within the former state of Ethiopia. Have a good day, everybody.